Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. I'm Imperial Jedi, it's episode number three, and uh, wonderful to have you here with us. So today's episode is more or less focused on, you know, some detailing, do some neighborhood community vibes. I'm actually going to start introducing a few of the DLCs with some of that. And uh, again, ever so popular. Um, hey, you guys can probably see, I did leave some room for it. The Porter Washington Parkway, we're probably going to dedicate that to um, next episode. And that'll be like a little mini um, in-town highway. And we'll kind of just, you know, start expanding, do a little bit of that LA style, throw in the interchanges wherever we can. But hopefully that'll give you some inspiration for um, your own cities. And a lot of nostalgic vibes, because the Porter Washington Parkway was definitely front row and center. So I'm kind of picturing it a little bit of a different um, layout this time. We're going to come in elevated, we're going to drop down to ground level through here. Um, I might actually tunnel underneath this and then have some cool interchange vibes. And then we're going to uh, whip around over here to the right and we're going to be slightly kind of sunken. See how we go downhill? So let's kind of maybe flatten a little bit of this out and let's have like a little sunken highway on the coast here. Then we can have a few, um, maybe like one little trumpet interchange that goes in. It'll be really, really fresh. And then just like last time, we're probably going to run the rails uh, through here uh, up the coast as well. So I'm just so excited. We have so much to do. But I'm trying to break these off into like more like, you know, bite-sized morsels. Especially if you're trying to follow along at home. Okay, so uh, last episode we just filled this area in. I did um, zone it and I just slightly expanded the uh, the pipes here. Otherwise, you know, power is good. Um, everything is good to go. So let's do some detailing and let's, um, I'll, I'll show you some cool stuff to do here. I'm actually going to throw down first the high school with a little bit of a park next to it. And I feel like the main focus of a lot of just what we're doing here is just to inspire you. Don't feel like you got to copy anything that I'm really doing. Maybe you are, who knows, but if you're not, like, really, don't don't stress one bit. It's just kind of inspiring. And if, maybe you're not even playing the game here to see you're watching. That's also, that's wonderful. All right, sticking with the grid because it's pretty easy to go with. But every once in a while, you know, we'll throw in some, some curvies and some mixed up streets. Sometimes we'll keep the, the flow, sometimes we won't. Who are we to live by the rules, right? Okay, so I do want a nice big uh, fresh area here. We're gonna flatten it out slightly, which is gonna make uh, for a little bit more, um, a little bit easier for the uh, for the detailing. Uh, this is your intensity, the brush strength right here. I usually uh, work on maximum. And um, just cause we're in a small neighborhood, I'm gonna just flip down to the small one here. And I'm gonna start with our slope um, terrain tool. So I'm gonna right click to set that as my height and I'm just gonna left click now and push outward. And it's just gonna slope the terrain to be the height that I want here. Cool, cool. So I'm gonna maybe make that a little bit flatter through here. And again, guys, don't ever feel like your areas are like set in stone, right? Like we're literally terraforming right now. Nice and slow. Um, if you are brand new to terraforming, maybe save the game ahead of time first. All right, let's expand that back over. And then you know what? Let's not put that road back in. Let's actually keep this like this. All right, so we want the high school. High school, we're going to toss down right there. Perfect. Just enough money to be able to afford it. And if you do happen to have the um, digital deluxe version of the base game, I think it's really cool to put the basketball court just next door. I flatten that out nicely. And then let's give this the illusion of being kind of like a fenced in property here. This is kind of like what we're going to be doing a lot with our detailing. So I'm going to keep the uh, road guidelines on. We're going to snap to our grid here. And I'm just going to do a little walk around uh, park pathway here. And if you want to get maybe a little bit of variety, you know, we can maybe toss down a little bit of dirt path too. Kind of keep that in line. And then if you do happen to have, you know, Park Life DLC, um, Industries DLC, and you do have some of the fences, I'll show you some cool stuff we can do here. You know what? That doesn't look all that great, but it doesn't look all that bad, though. Hmm. You know what? Let's just switch over, and we're going to just keep the um, uh, concrete path. We'll make it bigger. And we're just using our uh, road upgrade tool. Works for your pathways as well. And maybe the one that's going to be a little bit broken can be this one here. Yeah, that, that's fine for me. There's some varieties here. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our fences. Um, we can do a few options here. I think either the forestry or these um, wrought iron fences from the park fence look pretty good. And I'm going to turn off the snapping because I want to get extra close. And we're just going to eyeball this, but we'll do our best. And if it needs to be redone, it needs to be redone, no problem. 
We're at the point now where our budget should be able to kind of afford us a little bit of a grace period here for some mistakes, right? We can erase stuff, try again. Now the fencing, this kind of stuff looks pretty, uh, pretty wild and hard in the eyes. No problem. We'll just cover it with some trees. Oh wow, Boomtown. That's just great. Uh, we're expanding a little bit faster than I think the the pace of our um, our play right now. So what we'll do is we'll turn it down, keep it on one speed. Actually, I thought for a second we were on three, but we'll keep it on one speed. We'll um, add all of this stuff in the next episode. So we'll think about buses, we'll think about trams, and we'll think about the Port of Washington Parkway just for next episode. And this does unlock us some bigger pieces and some cool, like, you know, bus lanes and stuff, right? And, of course, the highway pieces, which will be very, very crucial for building the Port of Washington Parkway itself. Okay, but yeah, I was saying, just, um, you know, in these spots here, if you're, you know, not really um, digging the ground, no, no pun intended, yeah, go ahead, cover them with trees. And just like in real life, variety is the spice of life. The more trees, the better. And if you're using some of the assets, um, you know, try and match the trees. That's kind of cool. Very nice. And then if you were going to be using uh, more of the Park Life DLC, if you wanted to, you could make this into the uh, Park District. And you could snap a couple of the things to um, uh, the pathway here. You gotta make sure we've got a gate, though. So maybe we can open this up and this whole thing can be a, um, a pathway. Or, uh, sorry, a, uh, the park like DLC park. Now you can snap to the road. So if I want to have a clean line here, we're going to click back in. If I just click over here, we'll make a new one, which we don't want. And I'm right clicking to get rid of. And there's also like an erase tool. And these are different than regular districts. So you can actually overlap these with a the regular district. Districts are how you set policies. Policies can be citywide or they can be district-wide. And you can use districts for specialization. We'll get into that too with uh, some of the other DLCs. Okay, so snap into the road, making that look really nice. And we're going to turn this one here into one of the uh, Park Life DLC parks. And so over in our commercial area, that'd be kind of nice to have a small uh, shopping setup, right? Right here, first level of the building. So we're going to snap some of these in. If we do provide a... Um, uh, a way in like this, that's how services will get around. So we can actually snap now um, some of our buildings to pathways instead of just to roads. Okay, now we're going to make kind of like a, a boundary distinction line here. So we'll put another fence in, but if you did want to get down here, maybe we can do something like a bridge. And again, space, like you have so much more space than you think. When I first started playing this game, I made everything so compact. Like you can stretch your legs, guys. You've got a lot more space. And if you're on a computer and you get to the point where you're feeling comfortable, you can start adding more tiles. You can go to 25 tiles or the entire area. Um, oh, that looks terrifying. The entire area is actually nine by nine, like the whole, whole map. And so if you're on, yeah, if you're on a computer, you want to download some mods, um, the workshop will got you. Got you covered. It's an 81 tile mod, so you unlock literally everything. I have this thought, you know, once we do all the milestones and unlock all nine tiles, maybe we even do the 81 tiles, just to kind of show the, uh, you know, what you can really build with vanilla. I, I, that's way ahead of myself here. Let's, let's worry about the now. Okay. Now, what's cool about the Park Life DLC is you do get a lot of props that you can use and fit in here. So, safety's sake, um, going for those safety vibes with enough room to maybe have some trees in between the fencing and the uh, the road. And of course, replace the ones we just lost. Okay. Try and do that in line. We're just kind of, you know, guessing here with our eyes. That's all right. We do this a few times, it's no problem. Snapping those guys together as well. And then, you know, wherever there's a hole in the fence or you know, a little bit of imperfection, just hide it with some trees. Easy. Easy as apple pie. Now, because this is inside of the um, the park zone, let me show you some cool stuff here. So these things we just unlock these plazas, right? They have to, outside of a park zone, be snapped against a road. And the reasoning for this is if someone, you know, dies or if there's like a fire, you need to call the police. Emergency services have to be able to get there and they get there via the road. When you're inside of a park zone, your emergency services access the park through your gates. It can be a main gate or it can be a side gate. So if we want, we can put a side gate back here. Side gates are really cool, because um, it obviously adds another way in. Um, and then the gates themselves have got a, um, a fun little bit of snapping to them. So you can put fencing and whatnot. 
Actually, yeah, let, let's get that little world. I'm gonna show you something cool here. And then I'll get back to the point I was just trying to make. So we'll do our best to get that as close as possible. That's a little bit too close. And we'll just do our best. And again, you know, if there's any problems like this, no problem. Just trees. Trees are your best friend. They really are great. They'll fix all, all problems. They actually act as a, a natural sound barrier in this game too. So you can line your highways, line some of the busier um, uh, roads and, and areas with them. And your people will be very happy. Okay, not exactly easy on the eyes. So the terrain does play a very important role, I'd say, when you're when you're shaping stuff. So let's work with the terrain. Let's get rid of this right here. And then we can extend the gate over to there, at the fencing, right? Yeah, nice and clean. And then the goal was to have some trees along here. We're not going to zone or anything, so we can definitely put some stuff in there. A little bit of shade on a nice day. Out walking the dog. Love and life. Okay, now let's start snapping some of the stuff. This is the original point I was trying to make here, by the way, earlier. So the services have to be delivered by road unless you're inside of a park. The gates then uh, deliver services, which leaves us the ability to snap to pathways. So if you're outside of a park and you have just a pathway, you cannot snap to it. The ability must be placed inside of a park area or along a roadside. And the coolest thing too, I'm um, getting way ahead of myself here, but the coolest thing ever. This is so cool. We just unlocked the tram, so I'm going to show you this for the sheer sake of showing you. Tram in there, tram out here. Back to the park. No snapping. Smaller building, just so you can kind of see how this works. Yes, snapping. See that? No. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Tram, tram tracks, boom. That was a very, very happy accident, that discovery. I remember when I was playing the game and that happened, I was like, oh, do I tell? How do, what do I do right now? Maybe it happened live, I don't know. I'm trying to think, actually. And again, the terrain, you know, if it's, if it's driving a little bit nuts, no problem. And then part of the pack itself, there's, uh, if you scroll all the way over to here, you get some props. And so these are kind of fun just to, to move in. Um, if you right click, it'll rotate things, I think 45 degrees or so. Um, if you hold down the right click and just move your mouse around, it'll gently rotate. A little song and dance right here. The props, unfortunately, cannot go over top of each other. So you need to sometimes leave like a little sliver of room. Or if, you know, if you're ready for it, um, mods and assets. I know that's going to be a very common thing I'm going to bring up during the uh, the streams, but, you know, or the, the YouTube videos, I mean. We'll get there eventually. When the mods, like when this game came out, there really was no mod community. So I, I kind of was like, oh, I'll never do it. I got to a point where, you know, I felt like some stuff was missing from the game, and then someone was like, oh, there's a mod for that. Kind of like the early days of getting the iPhone, you know? Oh, there's an app for that. And a lot of the quality of life mods, I was just like, whoa, how do you live without them now? It feels great to play vanilla, don't get me wrong, vanilla is absolutely fantastic. This is looking great too, eh? Alright, so let's uh, pop in a few more things, and I'll show you some detailing um, that you can do that's very, very easy, especially vanilla friendly, in um, uh, your residential zones. All right, so just the cafe and a few other things in here. And just cause like, I, you know, for real life, I 100% would do this myself. Let's add a, another pathway here. And we can make it look like it's a pathway of discovery. You know, when it's not a planned one, but it's just the path of least resistance and the people started using it. Or we can make a paved path. And then, yep, you guessed it, some more trees. All right, what do we got for assets? Um, let's drop a few more of those down, then we'll head to people's backyards. So these guys here, sky's the limit. Got some um, uh, fun things to do here with uh, statues. Maybe the statue sits over here in line with the fountain. Maybe that could be in its own little gated spot. Maybe right on the edge, especially where the parking lot is, you got a little... Um, little food stall, little uh, info kiosk booth thing here. Maybe it's got maps or like regional information, a little tack board. Different options for your benches, depends on what vibe you're going for. A lot of cool stuff here. 
And I think there's another one too, eh? Am I mistaken? Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. I feel like, no, no, hold on, where are they? Yeah, they're back here. Yeah, you gotta unlock them still though. You get some now, yeah, there they are. Oh, little ice cream truck, okay, done. Sold. Maybe they have a special permit they can drive onto the grass over here. All right, so that was really easy, right? What was that, 10, 15 minutes? And what do we have? We have a beautiful spot here for the high school. You know, we can throw down some trees, like a basketball court, which feels right. You know, this is basically an oversized park. You know, we'll put in some more detailing, some of that kind of style down here. You know, this can be some more living quarters over here, and easy peasy, I love it. All right, so you know what? There's nothing wrong with um, just doing this. Uh, I'm gonna start off by that, by saying that. If you wanted just blanket zone, there is literally nothing wrong with it. If you do want a detail, I'm just gonna try to show you some easy stuff. So that's blanket zoning. Kind of see the, the byproduct of it, right? Doesn't look bad or anything. You do end up with a lot of the buildings that do look the same. So what can we do here? All right, well, I'll show you. First things first, let's find an area. We're usually leaving some space in between the buildings anyway, so that's always cool. Let's throw down a pathway so you can get from one end to the other. And like that backyard community vibe kind of thing, right? Maybe we get in this way as well. We're gonna use the node on the sidewalk over here to help better snap. Cool. Now let's switch over to our fences. We're gonna use the wooden fence that comes with the forestry um, DLC. I'm oh, sorry, the industry's DLC, but the forestry section. And we're actually gonna go through people's backyards and kind of create like what feels like a, um, a planned lot. And instead of every building just being four by four, let's mix that up. So now we have a four by four next to a four by three. That'll give us some more variety. You know, we've got a, another row of fencing right here, all the way to the end. We'll pretend that people have little gates and they can get in and out. What do we got here? Um, four by two, four by three. Oh God. Maybe start down here. All right, sometimes the buildings have a natural one in there, the hedge. Might get lucky with a few of those. But we're, we're being meanies, we're getting rid of people's dream homes, that's okay. There you go, just some variety, right? Might be a three by three, three by four, whatever. And if these are all the same, just get rid of one little back bit here. Maybe you got a bigger backyard than your buddy. And then variety, spice of life, right? Like the more variety you have, the more like rich and, and real it feels. You know, one side could be detailed if you're not really interested in doing all that much, right? Or maybe you want to keep the look of what you already got. And then you guessed it, what's the last thing? Trees. They really are great. You know, go go take a look at the, uh, the window. Um, you hopefully have got trees everywhere. You know, as you're walking to and from the bus stop to school, going to work like look at how many trees are around you cities are hopefully supposed to be like you know built around a, a forest almost or you should have that like vibe of like you know the forest is coming back or there's some happy uh, mix between it all and again i don't want to sound like some elitist or anything like that right but it's just like you know two or three minutes here i was very intimidated to start the detailing and there's nothing wrong with just uh blanket zoning especially when you got like uh, hills and weird terrain it's just so easy just to cover everything with trees, right? That is totally no problem. This is exactly how I started. You can hear I'm clicking like a madman. Not a lot of space. You sometimes got to find it. So go click crazy. What do you do otherwise? Maybe, um, you know, maybe back things up a little bit, right? Give yourself a little more room to put the trees in. Another approach to detailing. You just got to go through layers. So again, if you don't really want to detail one of the fences, just do this. We'll see the houses come back in because we've got demand for it. So whatever level you feel like you're at, you know, maybe it's a little bit more challenging on console. Maybe you don't have the DLCs that have the fences yet. You know, what you could do instead of doing the fences that way is still zone, right? Zone with holes and then maybe use some trees or some, um, I say zone with holes. I mean like this kind of zoning, right? Almost the illusion of already having the different lots. And then how do you separate things? You use trees, you know, like where, where are they? There we go. Right? Just separate those two properties. I feel like as long as you can kind of envision it in your mind's eye, you can do it. And the more time you have in the game, the easier this kind of becomes. And the more sense it kind of makes as well. So let's detail one more spot here just so we can kind of, you know, show some more variety. Um, I have something kind of fun in mind here around this commercial spot. So let's do that. So we do want some residential over here. We want to encourage people to maybe walk across here as well. So I'm gonna just take out a little bit of this um, ice cream parlor. I'm gonna turn my snapping back on. 
here. So we disconnected those two zones and we're going straight through here as well. Now in the interest of kind of noise and whatnot, let's get rid of that. We don't want residential there and let's get rid of this. And so now let's have a um, kind of like an overlapping uh, zone here of um, detailing. So let's, uh, let's bring in one more little walkway. We're going to lose the building, but that's okay. And I think we're going to try and work with the slight amount of hill here. Right, that looks kind of nice. And then on the other side, let's use the forestry to kind of have that, like, you know, residential feel versus the commercial feel. And look, this just literally went down. Look how many people are already using it. Again, if this kind of stuff drives you crazy, you can re terraform, you can switch over to the dirt pathways. Dirt pathways do not have the lamppost, so if you are playing with a day night cycle, you won't see that. Day night cycle, as well as disasters in your um, dynamic weather, you find that in your gameplay settings. And also, just a personal preference, I turn off side scrolling so that when I'm kind of moving around, the side of the map doesn't move me, doesn't do this. Personal preference, just in case you're curious as to why. And of course, like, you know, game sounds, options, all other stuff is in through here too, right? But day night cycle, dynamic weather, and of course, disasters. Oh, you can disable fire spreading? What? No way, cool. Well, that's fun. All right, look at that. Learn something new every day. Okay. What? That's a great discovery. So we'll fill this in. How did I get that so much closer on that side? That's okay. Maybe we'll exaggerate it over here. And then we'll unzone these points. And can you guess what's going to go there? A tree? Oh yeah, you know it. Um, this is kind of, I don't know. This guy's going to a parking lot. I don't know what I've done, but it's something I did on the modded side of how I play games. Or how, how, how I play Skylines. So if that's happening in your vanilla version, maybe we're having the same problem. But I, I feel like it's something I did modded-wise. Now I just turned the mods off to um, to do what we're doing today. So there might be some like ghost remnants of, uh, of mod stuff. Anyway, if you are a little bit tired of the trees and sick of my jokes, um, throw down some rocks. Rocks are friends too. Rocks look kind of cool in these kind of areas. This could be, you know, a big hiking uh, trail. We could have a bike, um, a little bike corridor through here. Kind of think of like a bike autobahn system, right? Oopsies. Not impossible if you wanted to do a um, elevated bike pathway that kind of follows some of your major highways. For literally, yeah, like a bike styled um, autobahn. Get through the city. Um, I don't think I can get that in here. Yeah, just, you know, a little bit of rocks, a little bit of trees. And then that could be a pedestrian uh, overpass eventually too, right? There we go. That's kind of my little, um, my little jaunt into um, detailing. So we can make our own backyards. We can use parks. We did something like this in the previous. You know, we can do the grandiose ones using some of the DLC. Or we can just kind of keep it as simple and as plain Jane as possible. Grab a plaza, find a commercial zone, you know, plop that down, done, right? So whatever level you honestly feel like you're comfortable doing, just do it. You might get to a point where you feel like you need more. There's a workshop, there's a lot of the DLC, different tools. If you need inspiration, Google Maps. Um, if you wanna go out for a little walk, uh, take some notes. Give you a little mental little notes. You can take some pictures with your phone, walk out with a clipboard, who knows, right? But as we expand, we wanna keep an eye on city services. Um, we were a little bit more micro-focused here. We do wanna expand the city to a point where we can get um, uh, off the landfills. So the short-term goal, like I was saying before, is to go oh, like 6,500, not 7,500. We wanna get the incineration plant unlocked. Otherwise, as we detail, as we have our fun, when we get lost like this, all we're doing is slowly filling up the um, uh, garbage dumps. So we'll have to put more and more and more and more. They take up valuable space and they have a budget, right? So they have a upkeep cost. So keep that in mind. So next episode, we do have to expand. It is gonna be the Porter Washington Parkway. We'll get some flow through it and uh, we'll try and reach the next milestone. Okay, well that's it for today, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great time with your own cities. Um, yeah, in the Discord, you can post your own pictures, send them to me on Twitter. You know, I feel like the internet's one, one big digital fridge and I love putting up uh, pictures and magnets and stuff, right? So send me stuff. I wanna, I wanna see it. And then, yeah, it's always fun to kinda, you know, share and compare. 
I think I have a very North American styled approach. You know, I build build what I know. I live in, in Toronto over in Canada. I do a lot of visiting of like American styled cities or American cities in general. Very rarely do I go to Europe, so not a lot of influence. So you might play this game fundamentally so different from me, and I think that's kind of a fun way. Um, and I promise for you European people, we will definitely do some roundabouts. I think I said I would do one in um, today's episode, but let's save that for, uh, for the Port of Washington Parkway. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, happy building, all the best. Thank you.